So, hello everybody. The new version of Convert with MOS 7.3 is out and it brings support for the TAL sampler or TAL. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Let's go with TAL sampler. It's easier to pronounce. If you have not heard about this software, it's straightforward, pretty simple, but nevertheless quite powerful sampler plugin. And I got aware of the software since it also supports now the CLAP plugin interface. You can also run it in CLAP enabled hosts like Bitwig or Reaper, but for sure it also supports VST. And now in a new version of Convert with Moss, you can read the format of the tell sampler as well as write the sampler. So this is pretty cool now to get access to your libraries in this software as well. And if you have never heard about this, you can have up to four layers. So each layer can be a complex multi-sample with velocity splits and key splits. This is just here the simple startup which contains only one sample, but we can also have a look at complexer samples. And then you can stack up to four samples with it. You have also different options for filters. You have a three LFO, three envelopes, and also quite complex mod matrix. Let's first have a look at what is supported with that format. You don't have any metadata with that besides the name. There I apply the usual guessing. So from the name of the tell sampler files, there will be some, some guessing what category, for example, it could be. It supports, as I said, up to four layers, as it's called, or here I call it groups. And there is a funny algorithm I implemented. If there are more than four groups, then this algorithm tests if the samples in that group can be also attached to the existing four groups without overlaps. And then they are put into these groups as well. So for the most simple setups, this works pretty nicely. And you can squeeze in more information than would be possible. I decided against to split up this into individual files because then you would need to load these part files with the different velocity splits into their own tell sampler instances and then also set up the different tracks for these and this would be pretty complex and so let's prefer this way to go. For the sample settings, we have all the usual stuff like the root key, the velocity split, and also the key split, as well as start sample, reverse, panorama, and these things. Also, looping is there, and all three envelopes are supported, so you can convert the volume, the pitch, as well as the filter envelopes. And also, filter is supported in these four versions. Also, for the other formats, it needs to support this as well which you can also look up here in this file if it's possible or not. And for the pitch envelope, uh, entry in the mod matrix is created to the third envelope. So let's uh, give this a go how this works. So this is the new version of Convertive Mods 7.3.0. And if you used it before, you will notice also the layout did change. Before this, these tabs were here at the top and you had to use the drop down list to access all of the options. So I moved them now to the left and they look a little bit nicer now as well. And so you can quickly select the source format you'd like to use as the input files and also support here the destination, which contains now both the tell sampler entry as well. So let's give this a go. I selected here some of my own samples, some pad samples in contact format, and let's bring them here to tell sampler. Let's run this and it will convert all these files now to tell sampler format. We can already, while it's going open here, the files and you see they're already all popping up. So the samples are in a subfolder for samples, which contains all the WAV files as well then as a tell sample file. So I think we can stop that. We don't need to convert all of them. And then we can, yeah, we can load up one of these files. So let's move that here out of the way. Let's go here. And there we are, have here this folder with the new created files. And let's pick one of my good old O1W cork files. And here you will also see here, you have now here a more complex split. And let's have a listen. So this is working nicely and you can also go the other way around. You can 
Also, if you have Telsimple files you already did create on your own, you can then convert them to other formats as well, which you like to convert. So what is not supported is most of the files in the Telsimple library are encrypted because of copyright reasons, and I do not support this. And I also don't want to infringe copyright with such a tool. So it only supports the not encrypted files. And if you, for example, run it now on the files from the library coming with Telsembler, you see that most of the files are encrypted and these will not be converted, but there are still some files which are readable. Yeah, so some files coming over and we can also have a look at that. So we have here created now as of set. And let's also try to load that up here in Bitwig. So much for today, another format which got here into the library and options of Convert with Moss. And I hope you like it, dig it, and make some funky music. <laughs> <laughs>